Hi all. A real short video today. It's going to cover the subject of how do we protect our data. And in reality, we don't have too many means with access to protect our data beyond password protecting the database. So it's also called encrypting the database. Um, so I just wanted to quickly review how it's done. It's very simple. Let's dive in. Now, password protecting or encrypting uh, a database is actually very easy to do, very straightforward. So obviously to do so, you need to have a database. So I just have a bogus database here. You open it up, it has a few tables and reports. What I did is I just did a create application parts contacts and this is what it gives me. There's actually no data currently, but that changes nothing. I wanna pr protect this database. So I wanna make sure that there, it's encrypted, it's password protected. So it's very simple. Normally you think you just go file, info, and I do encrypt with a password. But as you can see, you get an error message. And if you take the time to read it, it tells you that you must have the database open for exclusive use. So opening it normally, double clicking, whatever the case may be, however you normally launch a database, will not be sufficient because you need to open exclusively where no one else can enter while you're doing this process. And it's very easy to do. If you've already installed my right click context tool, you can do it simply by right clicking database tools and going down to open exclusively and you'd open it exclusively. If you don't have that tool installed, well then you just open access normally without opening a database, just open the access application. And then you're gonna go down to more databases. You're gonna do browse. You're gonna go find your database, but before open, you're gonna press the little arrow here and you're gonna switch it to open exclusive. Now you're in exclusive mode. Now we can proceed to encrypt it. Like I said, file info encrypt with password. And now you put whatever password you want. And then you have to verify that password. And there you go, your database is now encrypted. What does that mean? That means that whenever someone tries to access that database, it's going to require that password. And as long as you give the password, then it opens up normally and you're able to work normally. Let's take a very brief moment just to discuss database passwords, database encryption. Now, if we talk about the older formats, the MDB, so the Access 2003 and earlier, the database password is really much more for show than anything else. Um, you could easily purchase cracking software that would open a database in a split second. And you could even find on certain websites, if you Google, uh, the required code that you could use in VBA to unlock uh, an external database very easily. So it really was nothing that was even worthwhile in reality. And that brought us now to Access 2007 and later, and the encryption routine is much more solid and it does offer true protection. Now, we have to think though a little bit about an access database. Normally it's gonna be split and you're gonna have a front-end, back-end application here if we're talking access strictly. And you go to the lengths of password protecting your back-end, which is great. Uh, any access database should be encrypted nowadays. Uh, data is just too valuable. Uh, you should always encrypt a uh, backend database. But people often, well, A, let's just think, if you do have a split database, don't forget you have to relink all your database tables in your front end once you encrypt it, because now you need to relink it with the password. And that brings me to the security flaw here. In access, a linked table, its connection property is unencrypted. And I developed the utility that's on my website, which even allowed you to connect to a front end and extract the database password to the back end. So it just demonstrates the weakness here of the basically the connection string not encrypting a password. Um, and it makes your application vulnerable because if it's that easy to steal the password to the back end, well then encrypting it then becomes a little futile in my mind. So then that makes the question, should I be encrypting my front end? And nowadays, more and more, I'm starting to say, yes, it's a pain in the butt to always have to supply a password, but it's the only true way to protect your database and your backend. 
The other thing to always keep in the back of your mind, if security is that important to you, you're wanting to house really sensitive personal information and things like that, then you really, really need to think about your database technology or backend technology that you're using. And realistically, you probably should be migrating over to a server-based uh, database management system, some type of, you know, whether it be SQL, Azure, uh, PostgreSQL, MySQL, whatever the case may be, but you probably want to start going over those, building up proper users and roles, locking, you know, fields and tables down and going to the extremes. When we're talking confidential, sensitive information, that's the direction you probably should go. Encrypting your access database is great, but it only takes you so far. And as I've demonstrated, unless you go to great lengths and secure both your back end and your front end, you are leaving the door open for anyone to access the back end, even if you didn't mean to do so. So that's a brief just general discussion on database passwords and encryption. So to wrap this video up, I thought we'd also look at decrypting a database. So sometimes when you're wanting to do development or you need to do importing and exporting and things like that, sometimes it's just easier to decrypt the database first. So whatever you're doing for the next day or whatever the case may be, you're not always encumbered by the password. Um, and as you saw, it's not hard to encrypt the database and it's equally not hard to decrypt the database. And it's very easy You just open the database. You give your password to unlock it to prove that you have the right to work on it. You go file, uh, info, decrypt. And as you can see, you get the same error that you got when you try to encrypt. Because once again, to decrypt the database, you have to have exclusive access. So if you have my tool installed, you'd simply right click and you'd go open exclusively. Or alternatively, you can use the standard approach of opening access. Then you go more databases, browse, you go find your database. But remember, don't click open, press the down arrow and pick open exclusive. Now you have to give the password, it unlocks. Now you can go file info decrypt database. You give the password one more time and the database is decrypted. And if we double check, you will now see that it opens without any password being required. And that's how hard it is to decrypt the database. And that's all she wrote for database encryption and decryption. Um, thank you for watching the video. If you don't mind giving me a thumbs up, liking, subscribing, uh, sharing amongst your friends and uh, network, be greatly appreciated. Anything you can do to promote the channel and videos. Um, have a great day and we'll see you in the next video.